For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. As generative artificial intelligence technology continues to progress, there is growing concern that many jobs could be at risk. This groundbreaking technology offers a more efficient and cost-effective alternative to tasks that have traditionally been handled by humans. However, not everyone shares this pessimistic view. Ken Griffin, the founder and chief executive officer of Citadel, is one prominent Wall Street figure who remains doubtful that artificial intelligence will surpass human capabilities in many areas. Ken Griffin, who has an estimated net worth of $37,300,000,000, expressed his skepticism. According to Griffin, there are certain scenarios where machine learning models may not be suitable, such as navigating cars through snowy conditions or adapting to a world where regimes shift. In the meantime, Griffin has been adopting a different strategy compared to some of the biggest names in the artificial intelligence field. During quarter two, he made the decision to sell a significant portion of his NVIDIA holdings while simultaneously increasing his investment in Palantir shares. Now let's take a closer look at these companies and explore the reasons behind Griffin's recent moves. With assistance from the TipRank's database, we can also gain insight into how the analyst community on Wall Street views his decisions. When discussing the artificial intelligence-driven rally that has fueled the current bull market, NVIDIA often comes to mind. Once primarily known as a manufacturer of graphics processing units, in recent years, the semiconductor giant has firmly established itself as the undisputed leader in artificial intelligence chips. The reason for this is quite simple. NVIDIA's chips are considered the best in the industry. NVIDIA's success has been so remarkable that for a brief period earlier this year, it became the most valuable company in the world. In its fiscal quarter one, NVIDIA's revenue surged by 262.2% year over year, reaching $26 billion, surpassing Wall Street's expectations by $1,450,000,000. The company's bottom line performance was equally impressive, with adjusted earnings per share of $6.12, beating expectations by $0.54. Cents. Looking ahead, NVIDIA's forecast for fiscal quarter two revenue is $28 billion, plus or minus 2%, compared to the street's estimate of $26,840,000,000. Despite NVIDIA's impressive performance, Ken Griffin does not seem inclined to wait and see if the company delivers another stellar report at the end of the month on August 28th. During quarter two, he reduced his position by 80%, selling 2,421,072 shares. Griffin's move could be a strategic one, suggesting that he believes NVIDIA's shares may have peaked and that the road ahead might not be as smooth as it has been over the past year and a half. In fact, the company recently encountered some challenges when the shipping of its new Blackwell artificial intelligence chip was delayed due to a design flaw. DA Davidson analyst Gil Luria advises investors to closely monitor the situation. Luria believes the reported delays in Blackwell deliveries are likely to be short-lived with limited impact, but they do introduce a new wrinkle to NVIDIA's story. Luria's approach is to expect record results for the remainder of the year. However, he adopts a more cautious outlook for subsequent years, particularly in calendar year 2026, where consensus expectations seem to imply that NVIDIA's mega cap customers will forever forego margin expansion. The delay in Blackwell shipments may create a short-term disruption that needs to be carefully evaluated to avoid mistaking it for an inevitable market cycle shift. Luria takes a cautious stance as well, rating NVIDIA shares as new neutral, with a price target of $90, implying the stock could lose 27% of its value over the next year. However, Griffin and Luria's perspectives are not widely shared on Wall Street. NVIDIA's stock holds a strong buy consensus rating, based on a mix of 37 buys and 4 holds. The average price target of $144.17 suggests that the shares could rise by an additional 17% from their current level. Now shifting from one major artificial intelligence name to another, let's talk about Palantir. This company is also closely associated with the current artificial intelligence trend, and its stock has benefited significantly from the hype, more than doubling in value over the past year. Palantir is recognized as a big data analytics firm that provides software platforms to help organizations integrate, manage, and analyze large volumes of data. However, the company has been making a concerted effort to expand into the commercial sector. This is where artificial intelligence comes into play. Last year, Palantir introduced its artificial intelligence platform, a suite of tools and technologies designed to streamline the development, deployment, and management of artificial intelligence models and applications. The platform integrates various artificial intelligence 
intelligence functionalities such as machine learning, natural language processing, and data analysis, enabling organizations to harness artificial intelligence capabilities more efficiently. The product has been gaining traction, as evidenced by Palantir's recent quarter two report. United States commercial revenue increased by 55% year over year, significantly surpassing its 45% guidance. On the other end of the spectrum, adjusted earnings per share of nine cents slightly exceeded analysts' expectations by one cent. Looking ahead, Palantir anticipates revenue for quarter three to fall within the range of $697 million to $701 million, which is higher than the consensus estimate of $680 million to $100,000. Griffin appears to have been impressed by these results. During quarter two, he purchased 5,680,767 Palantir shares, which are currently valued at over $176,100,000. Palantir also has a strong supporter in Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives, who praises the company's latest results. As more use cases for enterprise-scale generative artificial intelligence solutions emerge, Palantir is gaining traction in the broader artificial intelligence revolution. Ives sees this as a significant validation of Palantir's outlook and its role in the artificial intelligence revolution. In fact, Ives is one of the most bullish analysts on Palantir, with a price target of $38, implying the shares could appreciate by approximately 22% over the next 12 months. Palantir's stock holds a consensus rating of hold, based on a mix of five holds, six sells, and three buys. Additionally, the average price target of $22.42 suggests a potential 28% decline in the year ahead. In the end, Ken Griffin, the founder and CEO of Citadel, is skeptical about the rapid advancement of generative artificial intelligence, doubting that it will surpass human capabilities in the near future. Despite the current AI boom, Griffin made bold moves during quarter two, selling a large portion of his NVIDIA shares while significantly increasing his investment in Palantir. NVIDIA has been a dominant player in AI chips, but Griffin's reduction in his holdings may signal caution about its future performance. On the other hand, Palantir, known for its data analytics software, has been gaining traction in the commercial sector with its artificial intelligence platform, leading to strong financial results in quarter two. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.